I'm here. Yeah. I just wanted to hop on right, right quick. Um, I didn't even know it was going to be like an open discussion. But um, I agree with you, Choke. Um, you know, these these people, regardless of their lifestyle, because none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. Yo, bro, please put the blunt down. Matter of fact, I'm going to take you off the screen, man. I, like, I, I, just, I don't be up on head. Like, I don't, I don't do all that. It's kids watching, man. Please, man. All right, go ahead, bro. All right, but, yeah, I was just saying, you know, none of us are perfect, especially when we're young and when we're very impressionable. Um, I agree. I'm, I'm not too, too familiar with Charleston White, but I, I've seen enough material to understand that he wants to change the community that he does want to, you know, turn negative to positive, that he does, basically, he, he wants what most adults want, you know what I'm saying, once you turn 30, once you turn 40. You know, you don't want to live in a world full of chaos. But what I don't agree with is I, I don't agree with a grown man going up on, you know, VTV or, or, or other um, platforms and just doing and saying things for clout. You know, you I'm 33. And I'm pretty sure Charleston is older than me. And he looks crazy. You know, like, I mean, he said death to King Von, Draco, and, and Nipsey. Well, we got to understand, King Von, how old was King Von? 20? 21? He was a young man. Yeah, very young. Yeah. Look at Tupac. Tupac was 25. T Tupac, he didn't even get a chance to to uh, turn that corner and really make the change that that he should have made. You know, um, same with King Von. He didn't even get a chance, we didn't even get a chance to really see him come back and right his wrongs, see him come uh, really grow up and make a difference in the community. Same, same, I don't really know too much about Draco, but we caught Nipsey right when he was turning that corner. Exactly. Nipsey, was way more valuable here than he is not here. Exactly. And so, you know, I just, I I get that we're in a, a time of social media, you know, we're in a TikTok period, but once you reach a certain age and once you have the knowledge, you just don't, it's no excuse for the shenanigans. You know, I, I can't co-sign the, I mean, the way that he, the way that he did that, that whole ritual thing where he was holding the gun up in the air, like, I just can't, I can't, that, that's some nonsense. That shit like some white supremacy bullshit. How, how, do I, how, how do I look, how do I look if that's me and my 13 year old daughter is randomly social, uh, scrolling through YouTube and she sees a picture of her father holding up an AK-47 talking about death to X, Y, and Z. She gonna be like, dad, that, you, that goes against everything you taught me. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I, I get that we do things for shock value and, and that we do things for clicks and everything. But but the thing about Charleston is he, he already did the crazy shenanigans to get the attention on him. And now that he has the attention on him, now he has a duty because this is what he wanted. Now he has a duty to take that and be positive. He doesn't have to do the crazy shenanigans. Like, he could have stopped doing that a year or two ago because he's been in the limelight for a little minute now. Yeah. So he could have stopped doing that a little while ago. It's just not it's not called for. And I'm not going I, I approve his message. And I and I like the fact that he wants to make a change. But as, as a grown man, I just cannot condone his actions. I can't. Right. Hold on. Uh, go ahead, brother. Respond to that. Um, no, nah, he's he, a lot of what he said is valid. But the only rebuttal I'll say to that, like the hip hop shit. Right. Um. His message is valid, but like he said, right? Like um, Choke said, Nipsey wasn't whatever. We all, like Zone, like you said, we all at an age where we got to stop with the fuck shit, right? So again, these kids is looking at Nipsey, and even though most of what he's doing was valid, what, what Charleston trying to say is it becomes invalid because, yo, you a grown-ass man, rich at that, rapper, made it. Why at any point you represented anything gang rolling 60s? You a grown ass man in front of your business. Why do why do you give two fucks that this man right here is a is a snitch? You worried about that fuck shit and all that shit that don't got nothing to do with you is what became your demise. 
So was he really out of that at the end of the day? That's that that that's that's what I care to look at what Charleston is talking about because I get what y'all saying like all that cringeworthy shit, the guns in the air, that shit is crazy. I hate that part. I hate that part. But it's no different than like when you say, "Yo, Nitsy doing big things, this person doing big things," but then we see the get the purpose gang affiliations, the 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 throwing up the sets and, and, and purposely rolling sixties. Why are you still doing that at this age, bro? You got wife and kids. You made it. You made it out the game. Motherfuckers respect you. These kids is looking up to you. You need to throw all that. You know, I get that. That's what you was at one time. That's what I'm saying. Trope with Charleston, right? Charleston was that. So that's why he's on it. Like, yo, I used to do that shit. Fuck that dumb shit. That shit is dumb. It's for bozos. It's retarded. But a lot of these rappers, they make it and they're like, no, this shit is not dumb. This shit is... It saved my life. This is what makes me cool. This is why y'all respect me. And then the shit I hate is the goofy shit. Oh, games used to be about the community, man. That shit was for two seconds. Can we stop running with that fake narrative, yo? Like, gangs ain't out here helping the fucking community, yo. That shit was for two seconds back in the 70s, and that's about it. Right. Well, um, I mean, the gangs was definitely, uh, you know, started for whatever police in their own community. But... I, I understand what you're saying, but there are Crips like Dub C, uh, Snoop, uh, like that been banging all their life that ain't out here telling people to bang, but they still represent the culture that they came up in. You know what I'm saying? But so you you don't you just don't throw it away. You know what I'm saying? Like if you was in a fraternity. You may still uh, rep that fraternity under your clothes, this, that, and the other, but you might not be running around doing all this shit in the street like all the other goddamn frat brothers. You know what I'm saying? But it, I just don't, look, you know, man. I don't feel like Nipsey, even, yeah, and I agree with you, what you said about Nipsey. Like, he shouldn't have gave a fuck if this nigga was a snitch or not. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have cared. You know, but that's why he's not here. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, should he have still had a business in this in the same neighborhood he grew up in? You, a lot of people say no to that. He should have got his ass out the hood. So, but the point is, why are you disrespecting the man? He dead. Like, why are you saying fuck him? Like his mother and his his brother and his his goddamn our old girlfriend, his daughter, his son. Like, they can't see that shit. Like, the man didn't do nothing to you personally for you to be, like, just, just disrespecting him. And then, I don't know, man. I just don't, I don't want to see the man get killed. Bottom line is, I feel like somebody's going to blow his motherfucking head off. He keep playing with people. And, you know, y'all can speak. I agree with that 100%. You know, it just, I'm not the most moral person in the world, um, but I have common sense. And, you know, like I, I've never been, I've never been a, a thug, um, never been shot or anything like that. But like any young man, you know, I've had my little fun in the streets when I was younger. Um, but not, and looking back now, I realize how dumb that was. Now I got a daughter. Now I'm not going back because that's just common sense because I know that if I go back, Something is going to happen. The thing, the thing with, with again, like I said in my original statement is we're, we're living, these guys are really young guys. You know, a, a lot of us, if you, if you take where we were, you know, let's say 10 or 20 years ago, it's not where we are today. And, you know, Charleston, at the end of the day, like his, his actions really aren't called for. You know, he's do, you, you get like, I agree with what Choke is saying. Go ahead, Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. I want this this motherfucker right here. You come in here. You come in here with all this shit you keep talking. Let me put the goddamn link in here. You come up here and stop talking shit in the chat. Stop talking shit in the chat and come on the screen. Yeah, I, I, I'm Pardon not me, really. Zone. Go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, you good. I'm not really clear on what he's talking about half stepping. What I'm doing is I'm telling the truth. And what I'm saying is at the end of the day, regardless of all the stuff that I just spilled is I'm not going to condone grown men going out in public or on the internet 
acting a damn fool. Act like you have common sense. Act like a grown man. You say that you're a community activist, well then be a community activist and stop waving an AK-47 in the air like you're praising white supremacy. And, I, and, and, and look, I would never approach Charleston White because he already said that he, you know, pepper spray guys and all of this, but, it, but if this was Charleston on the screen right now, I would tell Charleston White that you're acting a damn fool, cut it out. If he was standing in front of me right now, I would say, Charleston White, you got, you got the power, bro, but stop acting a fool on this internet and do your job. I would tell him that face to face. I'm not scared of nobody. I'm a man just like he's a man. I'm just telling the truth. Maybe a lot of these guys in the chat might not be used to expressing themselves or hearing the truth or even telling the truth. But I, I, I mean, I call a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, and the Crips, the, the gang stuff, it definitely has to go. Uh, people definitely need to speak up on it. People definitely need to have the courage that Charleston White has to get online and speak up about it. But at the same at the same time, it's kind of like it's kind of like the drug dealer, right? It's kind of like, okay, thank you for giving my mom a few dollars so she can go get groceries, but that don't make you selling drugs right, bro. I still got to call you out on that. Get what I'm saying? Like, it's contradicting, is what I'm saying. Yeah. See, and now all the people that's in support of his antics, when he, God forbid. If if just like Kev, Kevin Samuels, he was giving women a, a brutal truth, right? This motherfucker dies and motherfuckers is cheering. That's what's gonna happen with Charleston White. Y'all who keep provoking him and, and thinking what he's doing is good and putting that energy out there for somebody to do something to him, y'all gonna be the same motherfuckers when his motherfucking brains get blown out. God forbid, you know what I'm saying. Y'all motherfuckers ain't going to his funeral. Y'all motherfuckers ain't going to help carry the casket. Y'all not going to help fucking bury him. What y'all going to do is find the next nigga on YouTube to fucking watch. But y'all keep fucking encouraging him to keep threatening these fucking gangs and talking this shit to these fucking gangs and wishing uh, death on people and talking uh, bad about the dead. And God forbid something happened to that man. None of y'all motherfuckers is going to help bury him. None of y'all. And we still waiting for you to come in to uh, 